there, my name is Stephanie and I'm a special education teacher in the state of Texas. I'm back again today to share with you another new resource from Really Good Stuff's special needs lineup. I want you to let me know in the comments if you think that you and your students could currently benefit from a resource that is standards aligned, no prep, all you need to do is implement it and let your students do the magic. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that so many of you are saying yes, yes, I would benefit, my students would benefit from a resource like this. Tell me more! So let me tell you all about the Number of the Day Space Saver Pocket Chart. What I like the most about the Number of the Day Space Saver Pocket Chart is that it comes with everything you need to implement it. Well, except an Expo marker, but we all have those lying around our classroom, right? But seriously, everything you need. It comes with 11 different cards to share 11 different activities for Number of the Day. So you can have different activities every single day to practice students writing numbers, identifying numbers, making numbers, representing numbers in different ways. You get all of the cards, you get all of these activity cards, and you get blank cards if you wanted to make some new ones of your own. You don't need to laminate them, you don't need to cut them out or print them, everything comes in the box ready for you to use. One of my other favorite parts about this resource is that it comes with the teacher guide and I love the teacher guides from Really Good Stuff because I don't have to do any of the planning, it's already done for me. It makes my life easier and allows me to focus on other things in the classroom that need my attention. The Really Good Stuff pocket chart activity guide tells you all of the standards that this resource is aligned to, which are quite a few, you have almost a page and a half. It tells you how to display the chart, gives you different activity ideas, and it also tells you different activities you could do for each of the cards that I showed you here. What students should be doing. So if you wanted to leave this for a sub or have a pair around the center, you could easily have them do it and use the activity guide to guide them. If you want students to follow along with a worksheet, it also gives you this worksheet here so they can show their work. If you wanted to make it into a cute little binder or something and bind it up, you could do that as well with this cover. So let's take a look at the pocket chart. I'm gonna fill one in and we can work with it together. So I filled in six different activities that I want the students to be working on today and I've also chosen our number of the day, which is number six. So let's take a look at what each answer would be for each of the number of activities we've chosen. in all six different activities which would be the answers that the students would arrive to during the lesson. The great thing about this is you can do this in whole group or you can have students do it in centers. You can start it out at the beginning of the year teaching each student in your classroom through whole group instruction what all of the different card activities are. As they grasp the concepts you can put this in a center and have them work on it while you're working during guided math or other centers in your classroom. So if you want to grab this resource for your classroom, you have three different ways you can do it. You can grab it through the Really Good Stuff Special Needs Catalog. You can go to reallygoodstuff.com slash special needs and search for the number of the day Space Saver Pocket Chart. Or you can click the link above and purchase it that way. Until next time.